and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we're doing sort of a little dessert recipe for you. This is a lemon sponge cake. This is based heavily on the Julia Child recipe from The Joy of French Cooking. And the major change we made is we used lemon instead of orange, uh, which, because we like lemon a lot, so let's get going with our ingredients. So we're going to be using flour, sugar, and there's two measures of sugar here for two different uh, parts of the recipe, some eggs, the zest and juice from a lemon, and just a little pinch of salt. Now the first thing we're going to do is we have these great little uh, baby springform pans. We just lined them with a little bit of uh, tin foil to make them closer to uh, to watertight. We don't want the uh, we don't want the batter escaping. So we're also going to give them a little grease with some butter here because we want our cakes to release pretty nicely. So uh, you just want to give them a little coating with the butter on the inside. Make sure they are good and coated. And then we're going to add a little bit of flour as well, just so uh, we can be sure they release. Now, the neat thing about doing two is that you can use the flour from one uh, and as it uh, starts to fall out, because not all of it is going to stick to the sides, obviously, we can just add it to the second one. So we're just going to give these, uh, make sure they have a decent coating of the flour, just tap out any extra uh, so there's not a huge clumps of it or anything and then we're going to separate our eggs so we're going to be treating the uh, yolks and the whites separately for this recipe so you're definitely going to want to separate your eggs it's okay if uh, some of the white gets into the yolks not okay if the yolks get into the whites So our egg whites go into the mixer and the egg yolks are just going to go into this mixing bowl. So the first thing, we're going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of cream of tartar to the egg whites just to uh, give them a little bit more uh, structure. This helps them to froth better uh, as, they're, uh, as we're beating them, also known as tartaric acid. And then we're going to add the beater attachment for our stand mixer. And you can do this by hand as well. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I, uh, I'll warn you now, uh, if you're doing this by hand with a whisk, uh, you will need uh, some good, good strong elbow grease for that. So we're going to pop in our whisk, our, uh, our whisk uh, attachment for our stand mixer and just a little bit of the smaller measure of sugar and just get that started. So we're going to take that until about soft peaks. We don't want it to go all the way to firm uh, to medium or stiff peaks yet. So we're just going to go to soft peaks to start. Then we're going to gently sprinkle in the rest of the small measure of sugar. You don't want to just uh, lump it in, uh, like just toss it all in in one big uh, lump because it will sort of deflate everything. So you just want to give it a sprinkle and then put those uh, put that beater back on and uh, now we're going all the way to Stiff Peaks. So we're just going to give that a good mix until it makes it all the way to Stiff Peaks. You can see it's nice uh, and frothy at this point. So we're going to stop that. And you can see it is standing up really, really well. Good, strong stiff peaks you don't want to take it much further than this because it will start getting grainy if you uh, if you keep going so uh, make sure you stop uh, stop there for sure the larger measure of sugar is going to go in with the egg yolks and we're just going to blend those together until they are very very light and frothy right to the ribbon uh, now because there's rather a lot of sugar to the amount of egg yolks it may look at the beginning like it's too much sugar but don't worry just keep uh, whisking it together this will come together into a very nice light extremely fluffy uh, mixture and you can see here it has gotten very very pale it is very very frothy and uh, when you scrape the uh, whisk across the bottom of the bowl you can even see the bowl for a little while this is really really well whipped uh, it has a lot of structure to it. This is just about perfect. 
definitely to the ribbon, as they say. So we're going to add in the salt and the lemon zest as well. and also the lemon juice. Now there's a lot of things in here that uh, will <laughs> sort of make sure the uh, the eggs cook, right? You don't want to uh, let all of this sit in here for very long. Once you've started this process and you've started mixing those uh, eggs with the sugar, you got to move a little bit quickly. This is why we beat the egg whites first, because once this is completely mixed, we are going to go directly into adding the flour, the uh, the frothy egg whites and then we're going to go right to the baking. So we're going to sift our flour. Make sure that there's no lumps or anything in our flour. We're using just a tammy if you have one of those little um, flour uh, sifting machines you can use those as well that's just fine. And then we're going to give this a good blend to make sure it's all well combined, but again, you don't want to take it completely all the way to really, really smooth. Uh, we want to be pretty gentle with this. You can see it's not completely, there's still some flour in there. We don't want to mix it too, too much because we don't want to overmix this with the flour in there. We don't want a whole lot of gluten to form because we want this to rise a lot. We want it to be very, very light and airy. Uh, this sponge cake should be very, very fluffy and uh, lots of uh, lots of big air bubbles in there and just a beautiful light texture. So we're going to add just a small amount of the egg whites to start and get that uh, sort of folded in. And again, you don't want to mix this aggressively or give it a big uh, uh, a big whisk to get it all combined. You it should be fine if there's little streaks of egg whites and everything in there. That's okay. So we're going to add the rest of our uh, Stiff Peaks egg whites and again just gently fold that in. Uh, we don't want to we don't want to form any more gluten than we absolutely have to. So you can see here there's still some lumps of uh, egg whites mixed with that uh, excellent batter. But this will ensure that we have this beautiful light and uh, and fluffy sponge at the end of this. So we're going to add these to our nicely uh, greased and floured pans. Now we're making small cakes again as we did with our cheesecake that we made with these uh, nice little baby spring form pans. And you're going to want to fill these basically all the way to the top, uh, just below the rim. They are going to expand rather a lot, uh, which is fine, and they're going to have a round top, which is also fine. We'll show you uh, we're not exactly Claire Saffitz, but we are going to be showing you the uh, assembling the cake at the end of all of this. So once those are ready to go, do not dally. They are ready to go in the oven, so make sure your oven is preheated, and in they go. Now when they're done, you you can tell they're done when they've got a little bit of brown on top. You can see they've puffed up rather a lot. Now that is not going to stay that way. It will come down actually quite quickly. So uh, they look fantastic. They smell really excellent. And you can see here, they're, they're actually shrinking quite quickly right now. They're uh, contracting as the steam escapes, but they're not, you want to be a little bit gentle with them because you don't want them to collapse. Uh, another tip on this, make sure you're not <laughs> opening the door of the oven a lot while this is cooking. You don't want to do that. So once they are a little closer to room temperature and they've pulled away from the sides of your uh, of your baking pan, uh, you can just turn them out, and they should come out pretty pretty easily because they're gonna sh they're gonna contract as I said a little bit. And that's it for the sponge. So uh, we are gonna go through a couple of different things regarding this cake. Uh, next week's video is going to be a lemon Swiss buttercream icing and uh, the one in two weeks is gonna be assembling the whole cake that you can see here with the uh, raspberry jam and raspberry mousse filling as well as that buttercream icing. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.